Anybody that knows me knows in three and a half minutes I can't get to the verb. Uh, uh, the good news is I think most of you know what first is. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to do is thank all those people that are involved in it. I am amazed how many people do know about first and are involved in it. For instance, you just heard from John Abley. Uh, his real job in life is he has been the chairman of FIRST for the last few years and helping us grow. The Dubnows, who do this, have helped the New York City Regional happen for FIRST. David Rose is here. Mark Hodash, uh, uh, who's, I guess, also presenting and made this happen, has helped make the Boston event happen. I think there are a lot of people in this place that have already helped us. So in the probably remaining two minutes, I'd like to say to the people that don't know what FIRST is, um, we have an organization uh, which is trying to create the next gener generation of people to give you the gadgets of the next generation of all of you. I'd like to think sometime in the future, there'll be a bunch of people up here doing the same kinds of things you saw these guys start with, showing things that most of the people in this room won't even understand, haven't even conceived of, they won't be incremental changes in the computers and the stupid tchotchkes that you were looking at here. They really will be major changes. And, sorry, and, and that doesn't happen for free. Uh, kids need uh, to be inspired to put their time and attention to solving the real, real world's problems. I believe that there ought to be a strong uh, cultural change agent making particularly women and minorities in this country and around the world see science and technology and engineering and inventing as, as possible for them to do, and most of our culture dissuades them. We have a very, very, very fun organization that makes it attractive for kids to do this, and in my last one minute, I'll tell you how well it's gone and why nobody can any longer say, I can't be involved, it's, it's, it's not near me. The first year we did this competition, it, everybody that had ever heard of FIRST, showed up and did this event in a high school gym in Manchester, New Hampshire. There were a total of 23 teams with their 23 corporate sponsors. Over the last 14 years, it's grown to where, after five years, we started doing regional events around the country, ending at the end of each season, which still ends in April, uh, going to Disney, because we couldn't fit it in any gym or any venue in New Hampshire. And for five consecutive years, we doubled and redoubled our events held at Disney. From the 10th year to the 14th year, we couldn't hold our events at Disney anymore uh, because uh, we needed a place first the size of the Astrodome in Houston, and for the last couple of years, we've been holding our final event in the 72,000-seat uh, uh, Georgia Dome, home of the 1996 Olympics. Uh, last year, we had 33 cities across the United States and one with Nobody gets away from us. Where's Yossi? He helped us do one in, in uh, Haifa last year and Tel Aviv the year before that. This year we will have 36 little cities like New York, Detroit, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Jose, Cleveland, Seattle, Houston, Haifa, etc., and Brazil uh, running events uh, in which kids and scientists and engineers work together to do very positive things. Everybody here ought to get involved. Everybody can be involved. We need all sorts of help. And by the way, if sometimes people ask me why we do this. There are 80,000 engineers and scientists have been volunteers in this program. We've had more than a quarter of a million kids impacted enough by this that it's changed career choices. And I'll tell you why you need to do it. You're selfish. The world, when you look at the news, is about hurricanes and tsunamis and terrorists and polar ice caps that are melting. And avian flu. The, the news is pretty crummy, most of and, and I don't mean the recalls. They're a blip, trust me. Uh, they really are a blip. And, but most of the news is crummy. And most of the problems that it discusses aren't going to be solved by them, the big organizations that generally created them. If you want to do something that's the antidote to a world of crummy news, you show up at a first event and you see kids and adults and engineers and parents and teachers working together and being happy and being productive and looking at the world with an optimistic perspective. And we need some of that. And you'll get more out of it than you put into it. So go to our website, talk to Dan, talk to 
Mike. Get involved in FIRST. You'll love it. Thank you. USFIRST.org. <laughs>